how to play test shark skins. This is very common. Uh, I had a problem with it before. I didn't know how to do it. I was informed by a friend of mine. And uh, there are basically five steps to take to consideration. First thing we need to do is to install depth SDK. So let's go down here to uh, library, go to depth, right click on depth, go to properties, DLC, and then you, if you don't have it installed, you click this little checkbox and it will install it. Might take a little while, but it will be installed. After that, you need you can now subscribe to the desired shark skin from the workshop whatever you want so we're just going to go to the workshop download a skin uh, something uh, take this blue for example looks pretty nice let's subscribe to that one boom we'll start downloading and once it's done finished it's done what we need to do now is to locate the UPK file that you just downloaded. It is in here, but it's not accessible through the regular depth. So we need to uh, do a little bit extra. So find your Steam folder, go to Steam apps, and press workshop, then content. It's usually 274940, that is for depth skins, or depth content, I should say. Double click on that and see if we, if we can find it. You should be able to hold over to see sort of what files are in there, and you should see the UPK file's name, and you should see what's in there. If it doesn't show up, you can just double click. Blue Seeker sounds kind of like that file, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to copy. The fourth step is to copy this UPK file into SDK. So let's go back to Steam, and let's take the regular route, Steam Maps, Common, Depth, and then you see this file, SDK, click on that go into the depth game, then you go to content, characters, sharks, and then we need to find blue, which is here, and then you put this in the skins, paste. Now it's here, and we can go, we can go back to here. Step five, launch depth for SDK. So we're not launching the SDK, we are launching a depth game that is specifically for SDK. So Steam again, just to show the whole process, just in case. Common, we go into find depth and SDK. Binaries, I usually go Win64. I don't think it matters which one you go, but I should recommend, I would recommend 64. And then you launch. Okay. We are now in this version. You cannot play online, so press private match. We can go to store. In some cases, uh, if the UPK file is made proper, you should be able to find the skin in here. So you can look at it. Uh, in this case, we cannot see it, which means they haven't designated uh, things. It's not necessary when you create the UPK file and, and post it like this. But we can just go in, select shark, and go to private match. Okay. Let's go to the blue here now. And even though you couldn't see it in the store page, you should be able to see it here in this menu here. I would assume it could be template. I haven't properly named it yet. And here you can see it. It's in the game. You can even have some emotes to see that it's working correct. Let's see what happens here.
as you can see now the skin is in the game and you can play test it and goof around with it see if it looks as it's almost inside there we go. are the steps in order to try a skin from the workshop, a shark skin. Um, it could basically be the same for any type of skin. Uh, I have noticed personally that uh, weapon skins work, kind of, but sometimes they don't come with the uh, textures that is necessary. And that means it's better to put the UPK file in SDK and try and uh, play the way I just did. Uh, this is a, just a crude, simple video, and uh, hope this helps to anyone who is interested in trying skins out and so on and so forth. You have a good one.